Okay, so uh, today guys what we're going to do is demonstrate to you how you can use the Kali for Kids curriculum in your school to run an engaging seminar or a workshop. You can have your students invite their friends, come out, and just by teaching these three simple drills, four, six, and tap, there's so many ways you can disguise repetition, put them into engaging drills which help the kids improve their skill sets, make it a ton of fun in your schools, and at the end you can use this concept to possibly offer a good low barrier entry for those uh, friends or new students to come and join your program. So we're looking forward to doing this for you guys today. All right, thanks. Four count. Isa, the one. Appa. Good. First four. Appa. Line up. Let's go. Appa. Appa. One piece. Good. Okay. Today we're going to work on three basics: four, six, and tap. So for you guys that you know, we're just going to be working on improving your form. Then we're going to work on some team drills, building exercises, and partner drills. So that when we run through these drills, it's going to help you guys learn how to implement the Kali for Kids program as a seminar in your school, looking at all these different ways that you can do drills. All right, so we're going to start off with the first basic. Big sticks, chamber them up on your shoulders. Feet together, good. We're going to work the basic footwork first. Stepping up, open top triangle, count it out. Ready? Isa. Isa. Dalawa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Tatlo. Apa. Apa. Lima. Lima. Ani. Ani. Pito. Pito. Walo. Walo. Shiam. Shiam. Sampo. Sampo. Good. Ready? Next one. Entry four. Step forward. Temple. 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 Chamber. Chamber. Knee. 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 Chamber. Chamber. Next one. Temple. Temple. Chamber. Chamber. Knee. 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 Chamber. Chamber. Good. Ready? Now. Temple. 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 Back. Back. Knee. 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 Back. Back. Good. Other side. Temple. Temple. Back. Back. Knee. 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 Back. Back. Good. Now we lose the chamber, just say temple knee. Ready? Go. Temple. Knee. knee. Temple. Knee. knee. Temple. Knee. knee. Temple. Knee. knee. Go. Feet get set. Good, okay, first training uh, method that we're going to work is by facing our partner where we make no weapon contact. reason we're going to do this first is because we want to make sure for safety that nobody's going to end up hitting their partner. So everybody turn around face your partner real quick. Good, so we're going to start with the concept of no contact with the stick. So you're going to work it in the air. One, chamber two, but no noise, no touching sticks. Are we ready? Are we sure? Good, chamber those sticks up, put them on your shoulder. Ready? And make sure you call the target. Temple knee, but no weapon contact. Three, two, one, go. Temple knee. 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 Make sure your sticks are cradled. Okay. So from observing that, we notice that when they use the sticks without making contact, we're checking to make sure that the form is correct, everybody's aiming at the target for safety before we engage into the training with contacting with the sticks. Okay, so everybody turn around, face your partner. Next concept, stick contact, make noise. So stepping up, temple, knee. Ready? Check with those sticks on your shoulder. Three, two, one, pull the target, go. But again, from the top, say it with me. Temple. Temple. Chamber. Chamber. Knee. Knee. Shoulder. Shoulder. Temple. Temple. Left side. Temple. Temple. Chamber. Chamber. Knee. Knee. Shoulder. Shoulder. Temple. Temple. Go one more time. Temple. Temple. Chamber. Chamber. Knee. Knee. Shoulder. Shoulder. Temple. Temple. Left side. Temple. Temple. Chamber. Chamber. Knee. Knee. Shoulder. Shoulder. Temple. Temple. Okay, so now we lose the chamber and we're just gonna go temple, knee, temple. Everybody got it? Good. Let's step to the right first. Ready? Temple. Temple. Knee. Temple. Temple. Knee. Temple. Ready? Feet you can set. 
Done. Are we good? Okay, so we're going to demonstrate this again with no weapon contact for safety. So first they're going to face each other. Make sure that all of your students have the angles correct so nobody's going to hit each other in the hand. So we're going to turn around, face your partner, chamber those sticks up on your shoulder, and temple the temple, but I don't want to hear any noise. Anybody touch sticks? Burpees. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Temple, me, temple, temple, me. Okay, next one we're going to take that concept and put the drill together with weapon contact. contact right? You guys are going to make noise by touching the sticks, alright? So turn around, face your partner. Same drill this time, but now we've observed the fact that their control was good, the angles were clean. Now they have the green light to start to practice together to make contact with the sticks. So now we're going to work the entry six. Ready? Face your partner. On three, two, one, go. The last one, which is tap. tap. <laughs> Good. Okay, ready? So take those sticks, put them up on your shoulder. So oh. simple. Step up with an open top triangle. Say temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. 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 Switch. Left side. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Good. Right side. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Left side. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Good. Make sure those sticks are chambered all the way back, pointing to the floor. One more time. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Good. Other side. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Good. Great. Think you're set. Good. Same concept again. One more time. We're going to demonstrate the concept of safety by using no weapon contact first to make sure that those angles are clean before we engage in training with each other. Okay. So turn around. Face your partner. Again. Temple. Tap. And knee. No weapon. Thank you. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Temple, tap, knee. Temple, tap, knee. Temple, tap, knee. Temple, tap, knee. Good. A little quicker. Tap, knee. Temple, tap, knee. Temple, tap, knee. Temple. Go together. The first one we practiced today was. Four. Four. Second one was. Six. Thank Six. you. Good. It's like a ventriloquist back there. Last one was? Tap. Good. Okay, so let's put it all together. Chamber those sticks up on your shoulder. Ready? Entry four. Temple. Temple. Knee. Knee. Other side. Temple. Temple. Knee. Knee. Good. Now six. Temple. Temple. Knee. Knee. Temple. 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 Knee. Knee. Temple. Temple. Good. Temple. Temple. Tap. Tap. Knee. Knee. Temple. Temple. Tap. Knee. Knee. Set. Good. Okay. So now at this point, because we've already gone through this once or twice, we know that they have good control of the weapon. There's no need to go back to non-contact because now they already have control of those three drills. So we work weapon contact with this point. All right. So everybody turn around. Face your partner. We're going to work four, six, and tap. Make sure you verbalize and say it to your partner when you go. Remember, you are demonstrating. Three, two, one, and go. Grab a seat, next cross back straight, sticks in your lap. Okay, good job. Okay, so now what we're going to move into is engaging drills. Different ways that you can take those three simple drills, four, six, and tap, and use them to A, disguise repetition, which helps us to improve, but also to make it fun and engaging for the kids. And out of this, you can build a whole sort of our workshop or seminar that will help, you know, to generate new students or new business in your school by using the Carly for Kids program. All right, are we ready? Oh. Are we sure? Oh. Okay, first one simple, speed drill. Stand up, fish your partner. Good. Three simple techniques, four, six, and tap. Making contact. You're going to go four, six, and tap as fast as you can, and as soon as you're done, have a seat, legs crossed back straight, sticks on your lap. So this is a race. Are we ready? Are we sure? Focus. Ready? Three, two, one, go! OK, 
Okay, so that part about facing your partner when you were done, right? That was, that was pretty good. That was a good start. Actually, that, that, was, that was pretty tough, Mr. Alexis, right? To call a winner out of that. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Mr. Alexis, you're going to watch the three pairs at the back, and I'm going to watch the four pairs in the front. I'm going to pick the fastest one out of these four. You're going to pick the fastest one out of the six at the back, and then we're going to have a battle between those two teams to see who's fastest. All right? Ready? Three, two, one, and feet together set. Chamber those sticks on your shoulder, super focused. Ready? Andrew, stop bouncing. Ready? And go! Honestly, I, I couldn't, they went too quick. I couldn't see. We're going to have to do it one more time. Who did you get a winner out there, man? I got to buy a hair. Buy a hair? Dinaris and Carlos? All right, good job. You guys, by the day you're going to go into the battle, but I need to see this group one more time. Ready? Stand up, be good set. Ready? I guess my eyes are getting old, Miss Alexis. You've got to help me. Ready? Three, two, one. Right here. When a chicken dinner, we just had to go to chamber those sticks. Right. Okay, battle! Let's tear it off. Denaris, get up with Carlos. How do you get up with Miguel? Ready? You hate competition, right, Denaris? Ready? Three. Where do you get those sticks? Look at the size of those things. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Or was it tied? No, it was them. It yeah. was them, you think? It was them. No, it was them. It was See, them. it's a split decision. We're going to do this one more time, all right? Denaris, get up with Carlos. Miguel with Abby. So you can see how much uh, excitement and engagement the kids get involved because you know kids love competition, right? So ready, face your partner. Go! Let's give these guys a big round of applause. is a, a basic drill, still part of the drill, but now we're working a uh, relay concept, all right? So I think we're probably gonna have to use the mat width ways for this. So, uh, boys, you stay where you are, face each other. Ladies, face each other. Guys, you can slide in the slot right here. You gotta slide into the gap right there. Okay, so when you work the uh, relay based drills, obviously you have to be aware of spacing. When you're working with the sticks versus working with punching and kicking, you do need a little bit more room to create that space. So again, getting into the concept of safety, before you do these drills, you want to make sure that you space the kids out so nobody's going to hit sticks with each other when they do this, okay? All right, here we go. Feet to the set. Really simple. Starting point here. Knee to the blue. Back to the finish point. Four, six, and tap. That's it. Four, six, and tap. Do we sit down facing our partner when we're done? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Yes. Yes, I do too. Okay, so when you finish, sitting down, legs cross back straight, facing your partner. Now, remember, you have to stay. Look, Nikki already cheated. He already trying to get a little back over there. Okay, stay on the line, right? So you've got to come to the top and back. Ready? Focus. Stay your partner. Oh wait, so Miguel, you guys are driving. You're driving the bus first because they can't see. So make sure you guide your partner correctly. And Abby, your team driving on the way back, make sure you stay in your lane and focus. Ready, three, two, one, don't go. I said don't go, pay attention, focus. Ready, on three, two, one, go. Guys, you're gonna go. Guys, you stay seated. Guys, you're gonna go. If I said you're gonna go, stand up. Take your partner. Go to another variation. If you don't have enough space on the mat, set everybody up to go. While they're going, 
have these guys work on their focus, sitting with their legs crossed back straight, sticks on the lap. Okay, so if you're not going, I need to see absolute focus. Hands on your knees, focus on your partner, other side, working the concept, four, six, and tap to the blue and back. We're gonna find our winner from this team, winner from the next team, and then we're gonna battle off to see who is the fastest with this race. Ready? Three, two, one, go. However, there was something missing with that, and I just got a look that tells me some of that form was not quite there, right? So, again for this round, okay, if you were just sitting there showing me your awesome focus, which you guys did a great job, it's now your turn. Go ahead and stand up. Other side, while you're waiting, face your partner, super focus. Remember the whole drill, four, six, and tap. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, same pair again. Let's give these boys a round of applause. Awesome job. Good, okay. So, to our battle. Boys, stand up. Boys, again, stand up, face each other. Good. Okay, I think we probably need to give these guys a little support. So what you guys are going to do for me is take them to that rock concert while you're waiting. take teamwork for this next drill. So, uh, we're going to take two, four, six, and seven. You guys up front, make a circle right here. You got two, four, six, and seven. You guys in the back, make a circle right here. Oh. Okay, so this next drill is, is, again, we're still using those three simple concepts, four, six, and tap, but now we're going to use what we call a domino effect. So one kid passes the drill to the next kid, to the next kid, to the next kid, they all collapse, have a seat, legs crossed, back straight. Again, taking the same simple concepts and using them in a disguised repetition or engaging way to make it fun for the kids. Okay, domino drill, this is how it's going to work. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's see. Uh, Ashlyn and Miguel stand up. Good. Demonstrate four, six, and ten. Good. As soon as they finish, Ashton's going to have a seat. And Miguel, Juliana's going to stand up, and he's going to do four, six, and tap. Juliana, go. Good. As soon as they finish, Miguel's going to have a seat. Esteban's going to stand up, and she's going to pass the drill on. Next one, and you're just gonna stand up. Ready? And go. You guys get it? Oh, kind of domino effect, right? So again, it's gotta come. Oh, that's okay. We got it. Thank you, Andrew. You got it, you got it, you got it. That's it. That's exactly it right there. So it has to be passed from Ashlyn to Miguel and all the way back to Ashlyn. So Adrian, you'll pass it back to Ashlyn at the end. First team sitting, next cross back straight, sticks on your lap. And then you go straight through the drill. Again, making sure that we keep that spacing for safety. Don't have the kids too close together, otherwise you're going to have a drama when they bang into each other. Okay? All right, so safety super important. All right, ready? On three, two, one, go!
was a tie. What? That was a total tie. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Right, yeah. So you want, you want one, they tie one. Okay, this is how we're going to do the tiebreaker for this. I need you to pick two people from your team. You have 10 seconds. I need you to pick two people from your team. You have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, two from team A, stand up. Two from TV, stand up. Go, crazy Charlie. Okay, you know what? Go, get exactly back in that spot. You got 10 seconds. Go, 10. Nice. Perfect. 18 right here. 18. Come make a line over here for me, please. One, two, three, four. First one at the front. Good. Next one. Yes. One, two, three, and four. You guys are going to be a reckless choice. Take the numbers even if your team's odd. It's very simple. I'm sure you understand that concept. You're just going to take an extra team member and make them work extra hard, which is going to improve their skill set. Right? So the drill is really simple. What did we work? Four, six, tap it. Four, six, and tap it. Four, six, and tap, right? So all your, all your job is you've got to get from here to the bag and back. These are the rules. Real simple. So when I say go, the first person stands up. You're going to make your way over to the bag, and you're going to work your drill four. You're going to work six. You're going to work tap. You're going to come back to your team, and you tap to the at the back before it triggers for the next person to go. How does that happen? Because as I come by, I give him five, that's his trigger to get up and go. Do not stand up and go until you get that five. Make sense? Oh. Okay, so now we have to figure out how we get into the bag. Denaris, how do we get into the bag? Soldier cross. That's exactly what, what I was going to say. Soldier cross, right? What? So there's a thousand different ways that you can disguise repetition, different things that you can do, like uh, hop jumps, jumping, skipping, rolling, soldier crawls, whatever it might be that you can build into the drill to make it engaging for the kids. As you guys so much like the soldier crawls, you're going to take those two sticks, lay fat on your belly, and use those sticks to engage, get yourself all the way there. When you get there, four six taps, soldier crawl back, high five your partner, and two to the back. Ready, everybody down. On three. Two, one, go! Are you sure? Good, you have 10 seconds to get back on the spot. No, 10. Awesome teamwork to do. He was really super focused. Come on, you lady. Come on, come on. You gonna close us out today? Oh, Paul? Good. Ready? Stay set? Set! Oh, Paul! Good. Play with those sticks. Nice and loud. Come and go! Come on! 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 Come on
Okay, guys, thank you. I can't thank you enough for your help and support today. I really appreciate it. You guys rock. Oh, that's